Hello, my wonderful people, my viewers and subscribers all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy Monday to you all, oh, all my fans and family members, eh, all my viewers and subscribers. Eh, I don't land a girl oh, like Land Rover. I beg you, I don't want to take up much of your time uh, speaking uh, a different uh, thing entirely, but I just want to go straight to the reason why we are here this very morning. Please, if you never subscribe to my channel, Endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified time we go live or post something on this channel or another channel later to Okuta Daily Talk. Please keep on sharing this message, keep on making it go viral, and keep on uh, do what commenting and also liking anything that concerns my content on my page. Here is breaking news. This one is happening uh, happening in uh, Omaka Njaba, Imo State. Another killing of a young, uh, vibrant Biafran just happened in Njaba by the the zoological republic of nigeria soldiers all their full and men in a soldier's uniform they just killed one a young vibrant and promising young man in njaba emo stage breaking news nigeria security shot dead another young boy in umaka njaba emo stage make one of the yaramo now so we text him this early uh monday morning so please touch your seat bed because we are about to go search the reason why we are here this morning. Personnel of the Nigerian uh, security team who were pre presumably on a special assignment at uh, Obi Wan community, Omaka town in Olo Imo state, shot dead a young boy for no significant reasons. This incident happened on the 10th of June 2023. According to a liable report confirmed by Family Writers Press International from an eyewitness who prefers to remain anonymous, the security men stormed the area without notice and in form, and in a form we are not uh, sure has the approved of the police regional command of the said area. These false men first stormed a hotel so roughly for no reason we have been able to verify the manner at which they entered made people around begin to run helter skelter in fear and alongside others this young innocent boy ran out in fear too from where he was and headed towards a way out of the hotel like others that was when he unfortunately made the rage of a trigger happy member uh, of the security team who immediately shot uh, shot immediately shot gun at him and got him killed on the same spot, he said. The ugly incidents triggered anger and protest among the youth Obi Wan community who mounted a roadblock along Olo Uwere Road by the White House axis, demanding that something be, be done immediately as they cannot keep dying that way. Later on, the news got to the traditional Prime Minister of Obi Wan community, Chief Celestine Ago who came and appealed to the youth to vacate the major roads. The youth obliged to the plea of Chief Ago, but still persist on their demand for a stop to a short cruelty from members of the security agents. The witnesses noted that, uh, that uh, this is not the first time of such incidents in our law area of Imo State. Then my question here is, what is Hope Uzo Dema doing about it? Because these killings is too much. And when uh, people out there complain, it seems like uh, maybe they don't like Hope or whatever. But all these things is being boiled down to what brought him to that seat. Because uh, it, is, it is a kind of a, uh, uh, a deliberate assignment or a deliberate uh, 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 arrangement that he have already signed with the uh, Sokoto Caliphate. We know everything that went through. We know everything. We know how the water passed under the gutter. But that does not mean you cannot protect your own people. You are the uh, chief, uh, chief security officer of that state. The security of lives and property matters to you in that Imo state, who puts I'm asking. Almost every family in that Injaba or Olo Aziz have one sad story or the other since you assume office as the governor of Imo state. What is really happening and how should we avert all this nonsense be happening? Cleaning of our youth on daily basis without no cost, nothing, nothing. Security men on a uniform storming uh, houses and hotels for no reason. This is uncalled for. This is not what the, the emo indigenous are bargained for. What is their offense or what is the offense of this young man now simply because 
He is an Njaba man, a boy. I don't really understand. The witness is noted that this is not the first time of such incidents in all area of the Imo state. This is not the first time and will not be the last time because uh, they keep doing this and going scot free. So why can't they be doing it? All these people they saw, they said they are military, whatever. These are foot soldiers of the uh, uh, Fulani Caliphate or Sukuta Caliphate or Fulani Kabas. They are their foot soldiers whom they have already signed an agreement to wipe out every youth, decreasing the numbers of the Southeast. Yet our people. Who, who seems to be in the helm of the affairs of that very particular state do not see the handwriting on the wall. It is very, very uncalled for and it is alarming. In fact, I must say that there is nothing wrong with the police arresting any suspected individual for an interrogation. But what we witness regularly in this community and the region is a case where police keep arresting boys and forcing the boys to make illegal money transfer of the range of 150,000 naira to 300,000 instead of interrogating them accordingly and letting them go free. If I found innocent, if I if uh, found innocent or taking them through the normal legal pro uh, process, if found guilty, most times they kill any of these boys who is not able to send them the money. This has to stop, he concluded. As at the time of filling the, in this report, the source from which uh, the combined security team who carried out the Carlos operation took their, their order has not been ascertained. But the people of obi wan demand a stop to the inhumanity and ask justice for the murdered innocent young boy. This news is brought to you by Okuta Daily Talk. And uh, the news is being composed by Family Writers Press International. They are the ones that is supporting Another breaking news here, Tunumbu Ainek did not give Nigerians leaders of their own choice, Jerry Ghana laments. A former Minister of Information, Professor Jerry Ghana has expressed disappointment with the conduct and outcome of the 2023 general election in Nigeria which produced President Bola Me Tunumbu. This is a how many months that this election has been completed. After this warning, then you come out now to vomit uh, this thing from your mouth. Let me not use a uh, the derogatory statement, but with all due respect, Prof. Jerry Ghana, we don't need your advice. Get out. Ghana, in a chat with newsmen, submitted that Nigerians were not given the leaders of their choice, and to him, it is a major disappointment in the activities of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. He added that though technology has been introduced into the electoral processes in Nigeria, INEC has not been fair to Nigerians because it, it has not respected the induction of technology. The former minister warned that the country has a long way to go if the ugly development is allowed to continue, but expressed op optimism that the next election will be better. <clears throat> that is what we keep hearing you know, since 1999 to date. Recently, INEC has not been fair to Nigerians in conducting national elections, he said. He said. Therefore, we have a long way to go in our democracy if we allow this ugly development to continue to happen in our series of elections. It, it is true that we have introduced a lot of modern technology to improve our electoral system, but these technologies are not being respected today by INEC. To me, it is a major disappointment that INEC was not fair enough to give us the leaders of our own choice. After going through the current democratic process, it is my hope that the next one will be better. It should not have happened, according to Jerry Ghana. Speaking further, Ghana submitted that the annulment of the 1993 presidential election is a tragic mistake that should not have happened. He added that some powerful forces pushed the former military head of state, uh, Ibrahim Babangida, to annul the election, but going forward, Nigeria must stay with democracy. It, is a, a very, it was a tragic uh, mistake. It should not have happened, but since it happened, may God help us to get out of it. Therefore, we must stay with democracy in order to better Nigerians because it delivers freedom, human rights, and a good number of other good things. He said, Moving forward, Good Samaritan, who rescued a baby boy being abandoned on the roadside, shares a heartwarming photo and messages to the public. A young Nigerian man identified as Ben Kinsili Mwashara, who rescued a two-year-old girl dumped on the roadside in the Abani area of Enugu State in June 2022. 
He has shared a heartwarming photo ahead of the little girl's birthday celebration. Nigerian News report that uh, one Shara in a in a Twitter post claimed that the baby was battered by heavy rain rainfall while the market women in the area made no attempt to rescue her. One Shara, who has been responsible for the upkeep, said the girl was uh, cleaned up and fed as instructed by the DPO of Abane Police Station. In a new post on his Twitter page, the Good Samaritan said they went out to celebrate his birthday. He, however, mentioned that the girl's, the little girl's birthday will be on June 17th, which is the day he found her. Pole Ibadan reacts to viral uh, ritual video going on on the internet. In other news, the management of the Polytechnic Ibadan has explained that the short video of students clad in white and half naked that went viral is not a ritual activity as being rumored. The registrar of the institution, Ms. Mudupe Fawale, in a statement in Ibadan on Sunday explained that the said video was the performance of students from the art and design department during their 2023 departmental week. Recall a trending video circulating on social media showed where some students sacrificing and feasting on ritual in broad, day, in broad daylight on the campus. The scan on the video is to educate, orient, and discourage the minds of youth, especially students, not to engage in money rituals and other social vices. Not that the art was real within the campus as it has been rumored, Fawale said. In other hands, June 12, our democracy is deeply troubled, it will be to Nigerians, full text as below. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the just concluded February 25th polls, Peter Ubi has joined Nigerians to celebrate uh, democracy, democracy Day, which is today. Nigerian News report that uh, Nigeria will celebrate Democracy Day tomorrow, June 12th, in commemoration of the annual presidential election won by Chief M.K. Oabiola. In a Democracy Day message to Nigerians on Sunday, Peter B. stated that uh, the nation's democracy is deeply troubled while Nigeria's destiny remains uncertain and uh, precarious. According to the former Anambra State Governor, Nigerians should use the commemoration of the June 12th as an occasion to return to the true virtues of a truly democratic nation. Read the full statement below. Today is June, June 12th. June 12th is marked in our dear country as Democracy Day. It is a historic day that, uh, that deserves to be celebrated. On that day in 1993, we, the people of Nigeria, stated our unreserved preference for true democracy though under military rule we freely choose a transparent voting method our votes reflected our true choice as a people our choice is on that day defined divisions of ethnicity religion and religion it is these qualities that added up to mark to make the june 12th special in our search for true democracy our collective choices of late Chief MKO Abiola as a worthy leader for nation was saluted by Nigerians and government and people across the world. Therefore, June 12th underpins our long collective journey to nationhood as a true democracy. However, the current state of our politics tells a different story. Our democracy is deeply troubled while our nation's destiny remains uncertain and precarious. We remain a nation in search of solutions to too many basic problems. One of these is the search for a credible electoral system that will command the trust, confidence, and belief of all Nigerians, just like June 12th did. We should therefore use the commemoration of June 12th as an occasion to return to the true virtues of a truly democratic nation. We achieved that feat on June 12th of 1993. In the spirit of June 12th, therefore, we need to emplace an electoral system that commands the trust of people. This is in the creation of the tenets, tenets of the core values of democracy, which rests on respect for the, wish, for the wishes of the people as expressed in their ballots. Above all, 
Government must respect and protect the institutions and the democratic state by respecting the social contract with the people, by meeting their needs, obeying their wishes, and fulfilling the responsibilities of responsible governors as contained in the constitution. A cardinal responsibility of government in this regard is respect for the rule of law. Regrettably, we are now in an era where these funda foundational pillars of democracy are undermined by prevalent impunity and pervasive violence and bloodletting. The trust deficit between the leaders and the Nigerians continues to expand. The deficit of trust and deficiency in our last elections demonstrate this malady quite boldly. Where the perpetrators are even bold working freely today in the country in this so uh, contraction called Nigeria. The challenge of June 12 and the dedicated Democracy Day is to inspire us to call to correct the errors of our recent elections. This is the surest way to restore the confidence of our people in the future of our nation and the promise of true democracy. I, however, urge us all not to lose faith in the inbuilt design of our democracy system to self-correct. Personally, I remain committed and com convinced that a new Nigeria is possible. Our aspiration for a nation of equity, justice, security, and peace can, can hardly be utopia. We are a nation blessed richly with human and natural resources. What we lack are selfless leaders who are committed to national interest, sustainability, development, and innovative thinking that offers every Nigeria, irrespective of ethnicity, religion, or social strata. The freedom of choice of abode and protection lives, protection of life, property, and other liberties. These aspirations are real and achievable, and I hereby retreat my promise to Nigerians that we will not relent in our fight to bring about a leadership that will accord them the priority they deserve. Let me, therefore, on behalf of Labour Party and Obedient Movement across the globe, wish all Nigerians a happy Democracy Day. This note is coming to you from the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Gringori Peter Obi. In other hands, Femi Falana calls for a mutual transfer from DSS to, to EFCC's custody. That is their work, not DSS work. Because Nigeria, everything about Nigeria is working anti-clockwise. Everything is upside down. They use the biggest power to intimidate people. They feel like they don't belong to the class of the cabals. A senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, has said that the Department of State Service, DSS, should transfer God with a mayfellow to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, ELCC, for deeper investigation. A mayfellow recently suspended by President Bola Tunumbu has been under the DSS radar for possible terrorism financing since 2022. Despite the earlier attempts to obtain an arrest warrant, a federal high court detained the application for lack of evidence. Consequently, a court in the Federal Capital Territory issued an order protecting a mayfellow from arrest by the DSS. In a statement released on Sunday, Falana advised the DSS against the risk of uh, bungling the case due to legal te technicalities. The senior advocate pointed out that the DSS does not possess the authority to investigate and prosecute a mayfellow for accusations, accusations of money laundering and other financial crimes. That one concerns, uh, supposed to be the uh, uh, EFCC's work. But Nigeria, <laughs> when they forget Nigeria, Nigeria is gone. Nigeria is a nonsense country. He said, a mayfellow should in turn be handed over to an agency with the constitutional power to investigate such a case, referring to the EFCC. Falana said, a few months ago, the State Security Service, SSS, leveled a grave allegations of terrorism, financing, money laundering, and other economic crimes against Mr. Godwin Mayfield. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, at the material time, the attempt by SSS to arrest, investigate, and prosecute Mr. Mayfield was protected by the S.Y. Buaris administration, Falana Road. However, following the suspension of uh, Mr. Mayfield as the governor of the CBN by President Bola Tunumbu, the SSS 
quiz him in Lagos and flew him to Abuja yesterday, according to media reports. The investigation of the suspect by SSS has commenced, even though the SSS was initially denied the arrest, has since turned around to admit that Mr. Emefele is in his custody. In the case of Dr. Uh, Dr. Bukola Saraki versus Federal Republic of Nigeria 2018, 16 uh, WLR, P parts 1646, 433 uh, to 434. The Supreme Court ruled that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission lacks the virus to investigate and persecute the appellant for the breach of provisions of the Code of Conduct, Blue and Tribunal Act. It was for the press, it was for that principal reason that uh, Senator Saraki was freed by the Appeals Court. In line with the principle of the law uh, enunciated by the Appeals Court in Saraki's case, the SSS lacks the power to investigate and prosecute Mr. Emefele in respect of allegations of money laundering and other economic crimes. Therefore, after investigating the alleged involvement of Mr. Emefele in terrorism financing, the SSS should transfer him to the EFCC to investigate the allegations of money laundering and allied offenses. Otherwise, the investigation of the case will be, bo uh, will be bungled by the SSS, according to Femi 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 Kayode. It don't happen again. I'm going to hear this one or this one. This one now breaking news. Uh, Nigerians, everything that has to do with blacks, their jealousy is too much. Regarding where you come from, regarding your ethnicity, regarding the language you spoke, and whatever, whatever. Now, uh, Cook and Tom now have become uh, uh, so much, uh, what they call it, it has become uh, so much uh, uh, talent that nobody, everybody wants to partake in it. Now, they have another chef now. He say his name is uh, Chef Dami Lola or whatever. This new cook, uh, cooking challenge will do in Nigeria and bring strength, according to Reno Mokri. So let us see exactly what uh, he's trying to tell us here. Former presidential head Reno Mokri has reverted that the cook uh, cook Anton embarked by an equity-based chef, Damilola Ade Parosi, to break the record of celebrity chef, Heda Baji, with the United Nigeria and paint the country in a bad limb that, of course, simple truth. How many people come from India to break the, 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 the current, I mean, uh, the person that is holding the Guinness World Record that cooked in seven minutes and less, and uh, seven hours and some minutes? How many Indians come out? But Nigeria, mm -hmm. If Igbo man do now, Yoruba man will come and say, ah, you do it for Igbo people. Yoruba man do. After man will come out and say, no, that one you do is for Yoruba people. Let me do for our people. That is why Nigeria can never be won. This one is a sign that this country can never be won because every tribe want to be on their own. Whatever they want to do, because if you break any record now, even if footballers now, once anyone now, either you come from a Igbo uh, region or you come from a uh, outside region or Yoruba region, once you are shining in football, it's your own people that will take the glory, not even for the country. When you say for the country now, you see the, the other region you come from will come and tell you, hey, this one is our son, this one is our daughter. That is why the country can never be the same. In the United States, if anyone is proud, just like a... Uh, the, the just retired uh, Serena Williams. He did it for the U.S. entirely, not for any particular uh, uh, side. Because U.S. have been a what? A one language country. Nigeria is a different tribes and do different language. Tell me how this country can be together. India is one language. That is why over 1.4 billion people can be together. The same thing with uh, China. It's one language. That's why over 1.4 billion people can be together. No any uh, problem. But look at Nigeria. Just 220 million people, confusion everywhere. Now another person has come out now to break the record that has been set by a Nigerian. Even that break record itself has not been given to her. That award has not reached her hand. The Guinness, World of, uh, Guinness Book of Record, the, 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 the organizers, are seen investigating the matter, how the thing take go, and what and what that is involved, whether she complete, really completed the, that cook and or not. Now another Nigerian now can have raised now. Now they are trying to tri tribalize it. They said uh, uh, Linda Bachi uh, break the record for Igbos. Then uh, uh, this one now want to break her, her own or his own for Yorubas. On our way down, Nigeria. Nigerian News report that Dami Lola's quest to clean the world record breaking title uh, of non-stop uh, cooking by a single individual is coming less than a month after Chef Heda. 
but she completed uh, her yet to be verified cook anthem in 100 hours and 40 minutes. Reacting amid the backlashes that have trailed the Melora's latest development, Reno, in a social media post, said there are over 40,000 records in the Guinness World Records, and the Kitty Chef would have looked for some other records instead of breaking Hida's record. That is the simple truth. According to Reno, that Melora isn't industrious, and the attempt will be perceived as jealousy and envy by many Nigerians, not even many Nigerians, and the world at large. They will see Nigeria, Nigerians finish that they never love themselves. Even all these signs have already told them that, man, this country can never be one. Still yet, they are adamant because of what they are gaining from Nigeria. He added that the new challenge will disunite Nigerians and bring strength while exposing the cultural threat of undermining each other. He said, there is over 40,000 records in the Guinness World Records. In the Guinness World Records, yes, right? A Nigerian broke one. If another Nigerian wanted to, to be in that book of records, should she not have looked for some other record to break other than Hida uh, Bachi's potential record? Why must her target why must her target be the feat achieved by her fellow citizen? Did you see the point? You're making a point here. One first time you are making a point, despite the fact you are too controversial. This is all too common in black Africa. Crap mentality. We prefer to compete with our brothers rather than cooperate with them. And if we can't beat them, then we will pull them down. I have seen this happen so many times. Nigerians do not like each other. When they meet abroad and even, uh, and even undermine each other in full view of other nationalities. Why must it be that same record? And why go after it? so soon after it was potentially said it is just uh, so opportunity opportunities opportunist opportunist why not attempt to break some other record held by some other persons from other countries so that if you successfully break it you do not do it at the expense of your own compatriots from what i see this new cook is not industrious some people may even see her as jealous or envious whether or not they are correct one thing is clear she is disastrous what she is doing will not bring joy to nigeria hidabati united nigeria and nigerians this new challenge will disunite us and bring strength while further exposing our cultural threat i pray it is not a racial threat of undermining each other even the guinness book of records people will see us uh, as rather mean spirited people, what a pity to Nigerians. I total, I, I agree with you, um, uh, Reno Mokli. I 100% I agree with you. Nigerians, they hate their own self. That is the simple truth. Uh, in the other hand, though, the last but not the least, we have uh, uh, Hadi Sreka. He exposed how uh, the, 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 the inner caucus of that uh, said uh, Nigerian or uh, whatever, whatever. They are asking for five percent bribe, and the the Sreka or what they call it, the Sreka, the Minister of Aviation, turned them down, and that is what brings about all these uh, shenanigans that are happening with the unveiling, either unveiling or launching of Nigeria, but whichever way it is, all now are you everything now what now scan, whether they ask for five percent too, or you just go and rented a flight, painted it with one hundred thirty-six billion, and put Nigerian logo, all now scan. Nigeria A, how House Aviation Committee Chair asked for 5% bribe. How the Sadika exposed Honorable Naji. The immediate past Minister of Aviation, Senator Hadi Sadika, has accused the House of Representatives Committee Chairman on Aviation, Honorable Nolem Naji, of asking him for 5% of Nigeria A shares. Nigerian News reports that Sadika made the bribery allegations during an appearance on Arise TV on Sunday. Recall that Nolem Naji described the setting up of Nigeria Air as fraud. The former minister who dis dismissed uh, the allegations of fraud in the establishment of Nigeria Air accused Naji of asking for 5% for him and his people. He stated that he rejected Naji's request, asking the House of Representatives member 
to approach the airline's owners if he wanted a share from it. Sereka said, he asked me to please give him 5% of the airline. What I told him in private is that 5% belongs to the owners and they would be willing to give him if he offers the money. I am sure, I am very sure they would have 5% for him and his people. So he should approach them to get the 5% that he needed. Asked by the anchor, Ruben Abati, if Naji and his, and his talent colleagues in the aviation committee asked to be bribed before they could support the Nigerian A project, Sirika replied, Rebun Naji didn't say other members. He said he and his people. His people, being his family, could be members, leadership. I don't know what he meant. I said he should relax and approach the owners for the 5%. According to Sirika, he stated that the Nigerian Air is an executive project and Naji cannot be part of it. The former minister added that Naji has been overseeing aviation for four years, wondering if he just realizes that there is a fraud in the airline. So my wonderful people, we don't want to search it so much. Now here we will take stop. Make gonna do what? Make gonna just use this one day step down. As you wake up from your Monday sleep, and as you are preparing to go to your work, make sure you listen to this news, share it, like it, comment, and also subscribe if you have not done that. So, my wonderful people, now here I go take back my kayak and I go ahead and go. So, make sure enjoy on a Monday, and I wish us the very, very best in this new week. That God must surely provide for us and meet us at every point of our need. That's my prayer for all my fans and family members. So, keep on subscribing, liking, sharing. Or, I come your way again, I see the man you want and the only. Okute daily talk. Bringing to you this early Monday morning news. Bye for now. Game